Give us the backstory on this, Pierre. Well, obviously, the Tom Wilson situation on Monday, Dan, wasn't something that uh, endeared anybody, I think, in the hockey world to what happened. I mean, it basically, it was Tom Wilson getting involved with Pavel Bushnevich and then eventually getting involved with Artemi Panarin, uh, Panarin being a superstar player in the league, and Tom Wilson basically just tossing him down to the ice and could have been very, very dangerous, obviously, as you know, without a helmet on. If he hits his head instead of his shoulder, Dan, I think we have a very large potential problem. Obviously, he hit his shoulder, not nearly as much mayhem or, or injury caused to Panarin, but that's really the backstory of this whole thing with Tom Wilson and the New York Rangers. Okay, but $5,000 fine, no suspension. It's not like Tom Wilson doesn't have a rap sheet here, but can you, can you factor in priors with someone like Tom Wilson, and should he have been suspended? Well, I said last night, it begs the question, why wouldn't you have suspended him for one game? And I think if you had suspended him for that game last night, you wouldn't have had what we had. And I'll just, I won't use my words, Dan. I'll use the words of Brendan Smith, who got involved and fought Tom Wilson. He said at the end of the game, I have no bad blood with anybody on the Washington Capitals. I do with Tom Wilson. And so if Tom Wilson's not part of the equation, I don't think we have what we had last night.